back to Hermitcrafts 3 Amplified. Or Hermitcraft Season 3 in the Amplified World. Whatever. Anyway, as you can see, I've been a little busy here in the mine. I've even got some vines growing. I went out and I located some vines and I decided to plant them here along the walls and along the uh, minecart tunnel there uh, to have m vines growing while I was here doing mining and other things. And uh, that's proven to be quite effective. There's no sense having them planted someplace where I'm not going to be so that they will grow. Whoops. Oh, well. Anyway, decent amount of vine. And I'm using the vines in uh, another project, which I'll be showing a little bit later on. Some of you may have seen evidence of it in a few other videos so far, which is fine. I mean, I built the thing in town. I have to expect that it's going to be seen. As you can see here, the uh, Frobaz Electric Enchanting System, we make good things for ourselves, is... Uh, looking much better. I still need to move these chests out, arrange for better lighting, and put in a second layer of bookshelves. Yes, I know you don't need but no only 15 bookshelves. That's okay. I want the old style 30 bookshelf system, just simply for the looks of it, if no other reason. And I've been uh, having some adventure with enchanting. I've had problems coming up with experience, uh, getting access to the experience farm, and then keeping the experience, living long enough to get back here to do something with it, has been a lot of fun. But I have man managed it to a degree, and uh, I've been doing some enchanting work. Like, for example, I've got a pick here. Efficiency 5, Unbreaking 3. But there's something kind of odd about that. I went to the anvil. You see, I got this efficiency 5, unbreaking 2, excuse me. And I got another unbreaking 2 book. I figure and take an unbreaking 2 book, combine it with that pick, and get efficiency 5, unbreaking 3. That's the way it's always worked before. So I put this in here, and bam, too expensive. What on earth are you talking about? I mean, seriously. That was never too expensive before. This pick hasn't even been renamed. You know, I combined an Efficiency 5 book with an Unbreaking 2 book, and I put them on, put the resulting book on here, and bam, now it's too expensive to do anything with. So it's a general purpose utility pick. And then there's the sword. I did rename it. This was before I recalled that renaming is now a bad thing to do, which... Mojang, how stupid can you possibly be? I'm sorry, but seriously. Now there's a penalty for renaming. So I got the Sharpness 4 sword. And I put together this book. Sharpness 4, which would make it Sharpness 5. Looting 3. Efficiency 4, which would be ignored when applying to a sword. And Unbreaking 3. So I pop this up here. Everything's cool. Pop this book in here. Bam. Too expensive. Are you serious? I mean, seriously, are you absolutely serious that this is not going to work? This is now too expensive? I don't know how many sharpness whatever or, well, sharpness or smite or whatever with looting three, efficiency, uh, unbreaking three, and knockback two or flame or whatever that I have in my single player where I can't begin to say how many of them I have in there and now all of a sudden this is too expensive please that's ridiculous I see no reason why I shouldn't have a sharpness 5 looting fi looting 3 unbreaking 3 knockback 2 sword I see no reason at all why I shouldn't have that but Mojang has apparently made it impossible or bloody damn near impossible Let's see. Can I f at least put an Unbreaking 3 on here? Let's have a look. Pop this Sharpness 4 sword. Unbreaking 3, too expensive. Oh, no. 
18 levels. Okay, so that's possible. Great. All right, fine. I'll set the sword up here along with the book. And this book that I really want to use that apparently I'm not allowed to use. An unbreaking book and so on. And here's all the rest of the stuff that I've got. I want all of these things enchanted to full everything. Like the armor needs to all have protection. Preferably protection 4 or protection 5 or whatever the maximum level is. And uh, I want thorns 2 or thorns 3 on every piece. The helmet needs to have aqua affinity and respiration along with whatever protection and unbreaking. Unbreaking needs to be on everything as well. All of this stuff needs to have unbreaking. And then uh, a pickaxe with uh, unbreaking 3 and fortune 3 and efficiency 5 and another one like it with silk touch and similar for the shovel and the axe and so on. I want everything maxed out as much as possible. And apparently the changes in enchanting are such that it's going to be bloody difficult to get stuff set up the way I want it set. The way I am accustomed to having it set. But anyway, enough ranting about that, I suppose. I mean, I've got these uh, gold swords that I picked up from the XP farm that apparently you use the sword when you get enchants in here that you don't want. You put the lowest level one on your sword on one of those gold swords so that you can reset the enchanting seed and try again until you get something you want. And that's all fine and dandy, although it's a waste of levels and it's a waste of a sword because, I mean, seriously, gold swords? I'm not going to use one of those. They don't last. They're worthless. Anyway, I, <laughs> I'm ranting. I know I'm ranting, and I'm sorry. Uh, it just can't be helped. So I am now going to head out here. I'm going to grab my minecart, and I'm going to ride into town, and I'm going to show this thing that I've put together, and talk about what I plan to do with it, and uh, we'll go on from there. I'll see you on the other end of this rather long, kind of laggy ride, which isn't laggy. A ride like this is not laggy in single player. It must have something to do with multiplayer. So we'll see you on the other end. All right, here we are in town. I'm swimming over here to uh, towards where the town crown is. That wonderfully, amazingly awesome thing that Slipgator built. It's fantastic. I mean, as a town hall goes, that is like uh, a nation's capital. It's amazing. It really is. Slipgator is one amazing builder, and he builds amazing things. Uh, I should have expected something like this after after the ribbon. You know, really. I should have expected it. And it looks awesome. It is amazing. And the view from up on top is equally awesome and amazing. But I'm here for the view on top of this tree. Specifically, that. Which is currently obscured by the clouds. So I'm going to go in here to Options, Video, and I'm going to turn the clouds off. Because they offend me. Okay, and so there we have it. This is the thing I've been working on for the last couple of days. It's not done. And unlike... Uh, what Zuljan saw, said when he first saw it, no, it's not a giant green booger. <laughs> this is, actually, this is a scale model. You may recall when I started building over here after, after the server got started and I was off for a few days because I wasn't feeling well and so on. I get going and I decided I was going to start building here in this mountain. And you recall, I saw something. And uh, it didn't show up very well on video because it was just kind of a green blur. Because it was actually moving pretty fast. But this is what I saw. This is something that has been haunting the server. And I just stepped off of the bloody tree. Ugh. This is the thing that's been haunting the server. From day one. Because we started this thing really close to Halloween, and yeah, 
This is the green hairy eyeball. And uh, I, I'm trying to uh, reproduce it as accurately as I can from memory. Now, you see something like it in the intro of my video that I made in Blender a couple of years ago. And it's just kind of interesting that this thing has come to haunt me here on the Hermitcraft server. And uh, so I, I don't know what its plans are. I don't know what it wants. But there you go. Green hairy eyeball. It's just like an eyeball, only it's green and there's hair on it. And uh, for the hair, I'm using vines. I have to do two things. I have to get more vines to plant around, which is why I'm growing vines in my mine shaft. And I have to get string or something to limit the growth of the vine hair, or whatever you want to call it. All right, now I'm going to head up top here, go up this way. And we're going to head into the green hairy eyeball. And I don't need that sign there anymore. I need to work out a better method of getting up in here. And I think maybe uh, XB's uh, water elevator thing that he built might be a good way to do that. I'll have to give that a try. I think that might be it. Now what we have here is a about as perfect of a sphere as you can get in Minecraft. I uh, searched high and low and long and far and wide for a way to do this. And finally, I found a link that somebody had given me some time ago in reference to a different project uh, at plots.co.uk or something like that. I'll have a link for it in the description. And uh, what that's for is to, uh, yeah. yeah, now we can see out, get up here and we can look out through the eye. And it's watching the town crown and Slipgator. <laughs> yeah, you're being watched, Slipgator. <laughs> and I, I put this black wool up here behind here so that uh, the lights around here would light this thing up at night but not show the green from the inside. Now, originally, I thought, just build this thing, put it up here, and leave it as a big thing. But the more I look at this, and the more I worked on it building it, the more I figured, you know, I have got to build something inside this thing. Life in the eye. The eye of the hermit crab. The eye of the green hairy eyeball. You know, we, we've got to build something in here. So I'm thinking that I might just see about moving the bulk of my town base in here. Oh, there'll still be the place down below, uh, the Wayne Manor-ish sort of kind of almost th sort of thing down there. And uh, the waterborne bat cave-ish kind of entry. I'll figure something out to do with that. And uh, th that's all still going to be there. But I'm thinking maybe now, at this point, that the main town, the main in-town base needs to be inside that eye. That, I mean, really, seriously. That has got to happen. Get out of my way. There. That, that's got to happen. That is a great idea. <laughs> yeah, we're going to live in the eye. The eye of the storm. The eye of Hermitcraft. Some kind of thing like that. You've heard of the eye of Sauron? Well, this is the eye of Hermitcraft. <laughs> How about that? Okay. That's what I'm thinking to do. And uh, one of the first things I need to do is I've got to come up with some string so that I can trim that stuff hanging down to appropriate lengths and then put string under it so that it won't grow down any further. And I've got to do something about that. Otherwise, it's going to get 
really unwieldy and ugly. And so I'm not putting any more of this uh, vines on there just yet until I get the string to do that with. And uh, getting the string, well, the only way to do that is I'm going to have to gear up and go hunting spiders. Either that or a, uh, a spider spawner. But, you know, honestly, I have not found any spawners yet. Of course, I haven't actually actively been looking for them either. So, I'm going to figure out just exactly what I need to be working on next. And then we'll come back and do that. All right. So, getting ready to take care of the next phase of this, which, frankly, is going to mean coming up with a bunch of string. And the way to do that, I'm going to... I really wish that would stop. I'm going to have to dig all this out and get the lava underneath this got rid of so it doesn't keep catching fire. And this tunnel heads out to the farm. And I'm going to head out there. I've made up a couple of iron swords. And it's going to be time to farm for a few nights and come up with some string. Okay, here we are at the revised farm area. I've expanded the little place a little bit here, and I've got my tunnel, my shaft going down to level 10. And the chests appear to be glitching a little bit. Okay, let's see. Yeah, good. I've got some gold here, some redstone. I need to make a new clock. I lost the last one in several of the many deaths and that way I know what time it is. It's just gotten recently night, so let's head out here. Okay, this is where all of that green wool came from. All that lime green. I had some green I was anticipating needing but didn't. And some black. And of course a wheat farm to power all the breeding. I was originally using fence gates to get in and out of there, but uh, had more than one time where they I managed to leave the gate open and they all started pouring out and so I put a piece of carpet on there and put this to block the gate I'll remove the gate eventually and so on so that prevents that bit of problem now what I need to do head up here out of the fenced in safe area get a good vantage point kill the creeper Ugh. And I should probably turn my sounds back on. I had them turned off for a while. 4% should do. Uh, wait a minute. Let's turn the hostile sounds all the way up. And I'm going to turn my brightness up a little bit more. 75 or 76 ought to be enough. And there's what I'm looking for. Spiders. So, that cheap SOB, he didn't give me any string. So yeah, I'm going to be up here a while looking for spiders, farming string, and doing that. I'm probably going to need close to a stack of string, or at least a half a stack. So this is going to take me a while. I'll be back when I... Well, here's another one. Ooh, two whole pieces of string. Awesome. <laughs> oh, seriously. This has not been exactly what you would call highly productive. I left the gate open this time. All right, I've come up with a total of four strings, three rotten flesh, and a golden helmet, which is useless. So, let's see, uh, I'm going to first make some armor, which I should have done to start with. And then I'm going to try a different angle. After having gone through all the crap and gotten all the crap and not a whole lot of anything because I'm not deliberately going for the zombies because they don't have anything I want. 
All right, I'm going to head back to uh, where the two tunnels meet at the uh, town base and take a different tack on this gathering string. Okay, here we go. Let's see, I'm going to stop upstairs and I'm going to grab a few stacks of torches. And then I'm going to do something I really don't like doing. I'm going to come back down here, break through the wall, and I'm going to get into that abandoned mine shaft down there. Because abandoned mine shafts are a good place to get string. Because those cobwebs, when you break them, you get string. So we'll find the cobwebs, we'll break the cobwebs, and get the string, and so on. Let's see. I have some torches around here somewhere. All right, fine. I've got some sticks. I know I've got some coal around here somewhere. It must all be down below. Yep. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Bet there's some in here. Yeah, here we go. Not exactly a lot. Let's see, do I have some more in here? Yes. Excellent. All right, that'll do for a start. Now, go down here and break into that mine shaft and go hunting for string. Let's see, let's just break in here. That's not what I was aiming for. Just break this stuff out. Get away up here. All right, here we go. You know, it occurs to me I ought to probably try using the shears to pick up the string to hit these cobwebs. Yeah. Don't need to be wearing down my sword needlessly. All right place appears to be mostly lit up. And yes, I'm going to take the gold. Alright, looks like this place is going to supply my string needs. Hopefully, I will not be running into... Any cave spider spawners. I really hate those things. I do know that when the cobwebs get especially thick, it means you're getting close to one. Oh, nice little trap. All right. And now the string hunt continues. Let's pop some light down there. How about if I put this stuff on the hot bar so that I can see how much I've got? Uh-oh. That broke, but it's still there. That's uh, not a good sign. One of the big beefs I have with these abandoned mine shafts is that it's so easy to get lost in here.
but it's a good place to look for string, I'll say that. It beats the heck out of standing for three days outside the... Uh-oh. Yeah, I know what's down here. But this will fill my string needs. Let's get some light going on. Looks like it's lit up from the other side. The spawner might have even been destroyed. I don't see it. Which is weird, because normally there is a spawner in the middle of this. Not complaining, though. Means I don't have to deal with cave spiders. All right. Excellent. String recovery is a success. I have a stack and a half of string. That should be more than enough. All right. I'm going to head out of here, get ready, and we're going to go do some construction work. All right. Wouldn't you know it. Trying to get out of this thing, and I get turned around and turned around even more. I ended up using up the uh, shears. Came up with a lot more string, though. That's good. And some iron and some rails that I've found laying around here. And then, of course, there's this thing. Cave spider spawner. And I don't know. Maybe I should set up a trap around this thing. I've got its coordinates located. And I'll think about doing that. In the meantime, I'm going to see if I can find the way out of here. Because this is, as I expected, a freaking maze. I hate these little rabbit warrens. Oh, Glitch City. I can't just leave all this iron set in here. I mean, that would be wrong. Wasteful. All right. I'm going to see if I can find my way out of this freaking joint, and I'll catch up with you back at the base. Okay, here we are. I've got stuff put away. I need to make another shears. And start trimming this. Because, let's face it, this eyeball needs a shave. Because otherwise the vines are going to completely take over. Let's see, let's just try going straight up. Probably about another 10 or 15 at least. All right. I don't want to eliminate the vines, but I do want to limit how much they grow. So put some string down here. In fact, place string underneath them? Apparently I can. That should keep them from growing. Yes. I just did that one. Okay. All right, this is going to be a little painstaking, but this green hairy eyeball is going to get a shave and will limit the growth of 
its vine beard or vine hair, or whatever you want to call it. All right, this is going to take a while. I really wish I had a camera account because then I could set it up in a good third person view and do a speedy up bit like uh, so many others do. It would look good doing it that way as opposed to first person. And I'm sure if I sped this up that much, it would look terrible. <laughs> I know it would make me dizzy to watch. All right, here we are. The green hairy eyeball doesn't look nearly so unkempt as it did. It's had a shave, so to speak. Shaving an eyeball. What a thought. And uh, so on. I like the way the light comes out of the uh, glass there and kind of lights up around the pupil of the eye. That's good. That's a really good touch. I think it would be good if it had some kind, if there was some way I could put veins on the outside of the eyeball. Uh, but I'm not sure I can do that, at least not in vanilla. In, in modded Minecraft, no problem. The microblocks could work wonders. But <laughs> anyway, I'm going to hang out here and get one more look at this in the daytime. And then I want to address my plans for down there. I've opened up that tunnel. And I kind of have a plan for that, but I'm not quite sure how to implement it just yet. So let's have a look at this eyeball in daylight. All right, here's how it looks in the daylight. And I'd say that's better. The, the vines are limited in how far down they go and so on. I need to add a lot more vines I'd say everywhere from the equatorial region on downward. It would be nice if I could have it growing up as well, up and then over and out and so on and so forth, you know, like hair. But I can't think of a way to do that in vanilla. So uh, we're probably going to be restricted to the eyeball having hair from the equatorial region down. And I'm going to work on that. Now, this down here, I had in mind... As I've explained before, uh, basically the idea would be approach via a boat and go in there and then have maybe some kind of boat elevator or some other way to maybe dock a boat and then just ride some other way up into the main structure in there. But then the other day I logged on and I saw this. And that was kind of the thing, sort of kind of, the basic idea, at least, if not the same construction, but the basic idea of what I had. I haven't decided whether I want to still go ahead with that or scrap that idea and instead have coming out of there an underwater glass-enclosed tunnel, have it come out into the bay, and then up out of the water and somehow connect to this awesome bridge mechanism that uh, Slipgator put together. Because without something like that, I'm kind of a little bit isolated. I mean, I'm right here in town along with everybody else, but it's kind of isolated. There's no easy, quick way to get from there into the central town area or over here to the town crown for meetings and such. I mean, I can still do it, but it takes longer. It's more of a pain in the butt and so on. And I'd like a faster way to travel. So I'm going to work on that. Uh, maybe I'm kind of liking the underwater the underwater glass enclosed pathway thing at least out to a ways into the bay and then come up and connect with this mechanism this bridge or this platform or something around here somewhere I have to work on that because I don't want to do it in such a way that makes the ads ugly you know I want to add something that looks good as well as is functional I mean normally I'm a function first look good later kind of guy I always have been but I want this to look good. It has to look good enough to connect with this without being an ugly connection. So I have to work with that, work on that, and figure something out. But there you have it. Shaving an eyeball. Magic. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Bye-bye.